This video is brought to you by AE Juice. Get ready to use professional and easy to use transitions and presets, glitch animated background, logo reveal, text animation, different smooth transitions, trailer titles and many more. You can get them individually or you can get it in a bundle. It's also available for Premiere Pro and After Effects. Check out the first link in the description. Hello guys, welcome back to my another After Effects tutorial. In this After Effects tutorial, we are going to create this. Here you can see, I have already imported the files required for this project, you can download them from below link in the description. This complete After Effects template is also available for free on my web store, check out the link in the description. Now let's see how to create this logo reveal, create a new composition, name it as logo animation. For this composition. Set time duration to 7 seconds. Perfect. Now let's add the logo to the timeline, here you can scale your logo if needed. Let's pre-compose the logo layer. Name it as logo, select move all attributes into new composition. Perfect. Now add the texture media file to the timeline. Scale it to 50%. Perfect. Now let's create a new solid layer. I will name it as burn. Make sure fill color is set to white. Now in effects and preset, search for CC burn film. Add it to the solid layer. Now at start of the timeline, create keyframe for burn. Now go at 2 seconds. Set burn to 30. Now at end of the timeline, set burn to 70. Here you can see the preview. For burn layer, press U to view created keyframes, select keyframes, change keyframe assistant to easy ease. Now adjust the speed graph as shown. Perfect. Here you can also set the random seed value. Now for this burn solid layer. In effects and preset, search for solid composite, add it to the burn layer. For solid composite, set color to black. Now create a new solid layer. Name it as noise. Set color to black. Now in effects and preset, search for fractal noise. Add it to the noise layer. For fractal noise, set fractal type to thread. Set contrast to 120. Brightness to, minus 5. In transform, set scale to, 200. Set complexity to, 10. Fi noise layer, change blend mode to, overlay. You can see the preview. Perfect. Now let's create a new adjustment layer. Now in effects and preset, search for brightness and contrast. Add it to the adjustment layer. Set contrast to 100. Select use legacy. You can see the preview. 
Now select burn, noise and adjustment layer. Pre-compose them. Name it as noise. Now for texture layer, change track matte to, Luma inverted matte noise. You can see the preview. Now select the texture and noise composition, pre-compose them. Name it as texture noise. Perfect. For logo composition, change track mat to, alpha mat texture noise. You can see the preview. Now select logo and texture noise composition, pre-compose them. Name it as logo texture. Perfect. Now from project panel, add the background media file to the timeline. For this background, press T to bring up opacity, at 1 second, create keyframe for opacity. Now at start, change opacity to, 0%. You can see the preview. Now let's add the texture noise composition to the timeline, place it above the background. For texture noise, in effects and preset, search for drop shadow. Add it to the texture noise composition, for shadow, set opacity to, 100. Set distance to, 30. Set softness to, 30. Perfect. Now create duplicate of this texture noise composition, from above noise composition, remove the shadow effect. Now in effects and preset, search for CC pixel poly. Add it to the texture noise layer. Let's preview this layer individually. Hide the pixel effect. Now select the ellipse tool. Create ellipse shapes as shown. Unhide the pixel effect. Set force to 10. Set gravity to 0 0.2. Set direction randomness to 100. Speed randomness to 100. Set grid spacing to 1. You can see the preview. Change object to, textured square. For this texture noise, in effects and preset, search for Gaussian blur, add it to the noise layer. Set blurriness to, 2. Perfect. Now you can see the complete preview. Now from project panel, add the particles media file to the timeline. Change mode to add. Now in effects and preset, search for curves, add it to the particles media file. Slightly adjust the curves. Perfect. Now for logo texture, in effects and preset, search for drop shadow, add it to logo composition, set shadow opacity to 100%, set distance to 30, set softness to 30. Here you are free to adjust the distance of shadow. You can see the preview. Now let's change all compositions to 3D. Except particles, now create a new camera. Create a null object. Change null to 3D. Parent camera to null object. For null, press P to bring up position. Now at start of the timeline, create keyframe for position. Now at end of the timeline, 
increase the Z position value as shown. You can see the preview. Perfect. Now from project panel, let's add the noise media file to the timeline. Scale this noise media file. For noise, in effects and preset, search for curves. Add it to the noise layer, for this noise layer, set mode to, color burn. Now adjust the curves as shown. You can see the noise effect. Perfect. Now let's add the cinematic frame. Create a new solid. Name it as frame. Make sure color is set to black. Now double click on this rectangle tool to create mask. For mask 1, change shape, set unit to, percent of source. Top to 10%, bottom to 90%. Select inverted. Perfect. Now let's see the complete preview. Perfect. Here our Rust logo reveal is created. Thank you guys for watching this tutorial. See you next week with another awesome tutorial.